everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how I moisturize my hair. My hair has been in this ponytail for at least four or five days, um, give or take. And now I'm going to go ahead and take down my ponytail and moisturize my hair. This is what I like to do in between wash days when I don't have time or don't feel like washing my hair. Let's go ahead and get into this nighttime moisture routine. At this point, my hair is pretty dry and tangled. So what I like to do first is section my hair into my four sections. I always work in sections. I feel like if you have thick hair or even hair that seems to tangle up a lot, it's best to go ahead and just work in sections. It will make your life so much easier. After I have my four sections, I do like to go in with my water first. I feel like you should definitely start with a water-based product or even just plain water just to get your hair moisturized and go ahead and just split the section in half and really work that water into your hair. And as I'm working the water into my hair, I'm also removing any shed hair or major knots that I feel or see during this process as well. Then I like to go in with my leave-in. Right here, I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I take about a dime size and I rub that all throughout my hair. I really don't need much because I already went in and moisturized first with my water. Then I take my DIY growth oil and seal in all that moisture. Then I like to go ahead and twist it up. Notice I don't use any combs or brushes during, these, during this process. Um, I find that I only need to use a comb or brush on wash days. So if I'm ever going to re-moisturize my hair, I do a light finger detangle, remove knots and shed hair that way. And that just helps me retain as much length as possible without tearing through my hair with a brush or comb on a daily basis. After that section is all twisted up, I do like to go in with the old t-shirt and blot each twist to get as much product as I can out. And this just helps me to not go to bed with wet hair and helps your twists dry faster if you didn't want to take them out the next day. this process if I see any knots or split ends I do trim them every time I do my hair I always have a pair of scissors with me because I find that with my hair being naturally curly I get single strand knots I get split ends and I just cut them out as I see them and that also has helped with me retaining length as well Now that my hair is all moisturized and twisted up, I do go ahead and wrap my hair with a silk scarf, which is very important to help retain all the moisture that you just put into your hair. And then I go to sleep. You can take it down the next day or you can leave them in. 
As always, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.